Welcome to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial from TD Cat Tech. If you've ever thought to yourself, you know what? What I need is a ramp that fades out from a solid color to transparent for use in my video. <laughs> if that's what you've been thinking about, then that's exactly what I'm looking at today. In the video I have here, well, I bring in a title. Like and the titles, you know, it's a little kind of bit of information at the bottom, and it just gets a bit lost in the kind of messiness with my hands there and things. It just doesn't look that neat, whereas it would look quite nice if the bottom of the frame was darkened slightly. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Generators here on the left-hand side, and I'm going to generate a solid color. So I'm going to drag that over to here, and I'm going to select that clip now that is my color, and it's by default black, which is absolutely fine for me. However, I can't now edit that until I make it a compound clip. So I need to right click on that solid color and do new compound clip, and I'm going to just call it title for now, which means I can now go to my color page and here it is. It's on top, actually, in, in the edit, isn't it? So you can't see anything else. And I'm going to go down to this window section here and click on this one here at the bottom. And what that does is creates this sort of uh, gradient. And you can see a kind of preview of that in the uh, color node, in the node here. And so what I'm going to do is just drag this out a little bit. And I'm also going to go whoop and rotate it round and move this down down the frame where do i want it roughly i probably want it about there something like that maybe maybe even stretch it out a little bit more if you want to see what's going on rather than looking at your color node here just click on the highlight and you can kind of get a better idea of what's happening might be kind of a good idea to do that i think uh because it's a little bit simpler but what you need to do now because this fades out to uh it fades out to gray essentially it doesn't fade out to transparent so you need to add an alpha channel to this uh, to this node. You can right click here in the node section and do add an alpha output and then connect the node to the alpha output. And that's it, really. That's all you need to do. So if you go back into your edit page now and drop your you can you can see how it fades into the video nicely there. If you drop your text on top, just move those down just because it's neater. And you've got a nice Everything's just a little bit clearer there, isn't it? If I just shift this out of the way, see, you go from that to that, much better. And it also fades out really, really, really nicely as well. Now, I can't make this any bigger. And just a point or just a word of warning, I can't make this uh, any bigger because the text in the compound clip isn't any bigger. See, I can't expand that out. So a good idea when you do this is right click on here, open in the timeline, and make this uh, solid color. Sorry, I said text, and I what I meant was solid color. Make that bigger to start with. Double click on the timeline here to go back, and that just gives you a bit of room to maneuver if you do want to make this uh, bigger, and if you decide you want it a little bit last a little bit longer, it gives you a bit of flexibility. Then, so uh, what we have now is a bit of something that can fade these both in. iVlog DI kit, and yeah, it just looks. I think, I don't know, I just think it looks quite neat. As I always say on these things, no doubt there are different ways to do this in Resolve. This might not be the best way. I'm sure you can do it in Fusion, which is super, super slow on my system and I hate it. So um, yeah, that's one way of doing it that works for me. 